bring the crowd down. It would probably be one of the most popular victories that we've ever seen in a Melbourne Cup if he's able to do it on Tuesday. And he looks magnificent today. His hind legs uh, bandages over his bumpers there, I suppose just precautionary measure before the Melbourne Cup on Tuesday. And the field is now set to go for the Louis Vuitton McKinnon Stakes. 2,000 metres, the light is on. Gates fly back and they're off and racing. A little bit slow to begin was El Maheb and the stablemate Ivory Wayne. Castletown back to the rear early. Surface Paradise landed in front of Majestic Boy. Stylish Sentry was wider out than Mantelpiece. Prince Alieri pushing through with Ideal Centerman and Bold Rancher. Followed by Salil Rouge midfield. Back behind them was Let's Elope and going around at Ivory Way. El Maheb third last. A length away superimposed and Castletown at the rear. 1,600 metres left to travel and Stylish Sentry finally worked his way to the front. He's a length clear of Prince Alieri and Salil Rouge going up on the outside. A length away, Ideal Centerman settling in fifth placing as Majestic Boy races up to within a length of Stylish Century. Ideal Centerman's fifth, a length behind it, Bold Rancher. Ivory Way got up along the inside. In between horses was Mantelpiece as they run along past the 1,200 metres point. Salil Rouge three deep. A length and a half away, fourth last was Let's Elope. On the inside next was uh, El Meheb, a length away superimposed and Castletown at the rear of the field. They have a 1,000 metres left to go. Stylish Century led by a length to Majestic Boy. Third was Prince Salieri, a length away Surface Paradise and then Ideal Centre Man. Ivory Way's over on the inside next. Around them was Bold Rancher and Salil Rouge. Mantelpiece midfield, a length and a half to El Meheb on the inside of Let's Elope. Two lengths to superimpose and last of all was Castletown. 12 lengths would cover up the field as they run inside the 700 metres mark and Stylish Century in front by three quarters of a length to Majestic Boy. A length and a half away Prince Alieri, fourth surface Paradise and then Salil Rouge. Behind them was Ivory Way, Ideal Centre Man, Mantelpiece next and then Let's Elope, El Meheb and now superimposed taken to the outside from Castletown. 500 metres left to go on the McKinnon Stakes and the leader Stylish Century. Looming up ominously on the outside though was Surface Paradise and then Majestic Boy and now down the outside superimposed and Let's Elope. 300 metres to go, Surface Paradise in front. Here's Let's Elope and superimposed. Let's Elope hit the front, 150 metres to go. Superimposed is trying to run it down, but the Caulfield Cup will in front, 100 out. Let's Elope in front, superimposed can't get her. And here's the Melbourne Cup favourite. Let's Elope wins easily. Two links to superimposed and Prince Alieri. Castletown, what a cup trial it was. Flash home for fourth. Then Ivory Way, close up Mantelpiece, Daily Century, Surface Paradise disappointing, and then Bold Branch, a majestic boy. Ideal Cinnamon, Salil Rouge, and El Mehip was back of the rear. They've run two minutes, 1.8, and the winner is number 14, Let's Elope. And I think without much doubt at all, the outright favourite for Tuesday's Foster's Melbourne Cup. For a win and place return in the McKinnon Stakes, number 14, Let's Elope, $4.70 the winner, $1.30 the place. Number one, superimposed, 70 cents. And number four, Prince Alieri, $1.15. 14, one and four, they will be the approximate should pays for race number five, the McKinnon Stakes. Well, super, he's run second again in a feature race in Melbourne, but take nothing away from Let's Elope because uh, she was in the same position as superimposed as they rounded the home turn, Gary. Well, Denny, they've both really made their runs together and Let's Elope has done a fantastic job. I really, you know, didn't think she'd be quite up to wait for age, but She's gone right to the line, very strong, superimposed. Looked like getting her coming to the 200, but she was just far too strong. But I think the one to watch is the horse right on the rail with the orange cap, or goldie cap, Castletown. Big His run. run was enormous it for was. the 3,200 metre race. He's finished up running fifth, but 50 metres after the post, he was a clear third. Well, Bart Cummings just produces these winners. And his ninth Melbourne Cup is staring him right in the face now, Peter Donegan, after that performance from Let's Elope. No question about it, Dan, but you've had some uh, great Melbourne Cup trials in the McKinnon over the years. Any better than that? No, it's a good one, wasn't it? Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> the race was run to suit her, do you feel? Well, they're running good time. She's a, a solid staying type, lead the pace on, and everything worked beautifully for her, yes. That's good. Given the fact that Superimposed couldn't run her down today, and I know it's a completely different distance, but uh, with him going up to 60, it's pretty hard to see him beating her home. Yeah, you wouldn't expect it, would you? I don't know, I wouldn't expect it to happen. I think what... I think she's beat those behind her today. When you first got this horse, I mean, she's inexperienced now. She's won the Caulfield Cup. She's won the McKinnon Stakes. She's going to be a hot favourite in the Melbourne Cup. Did you ever think that she'd reach these heights? She's getting a lot of, a lot of experience very quickly, and it's working very well. And, uh, you couldn't do any, wish for any more than the preparation and the uh, winning uh, form that she's shown before the race. I don't even think there's been ever, ever a more worthy uh, favourite of the Melbourne Cup than this filly. But congratulations, and... No doubt you're looking forward to cap number nine on Tuesday now. 
Fifty-eight now. Hope for the best. Thank you. Good on you, Bart.